The value of the urban forest, I think to most residents here and visitors to Walnut Creek, is the variety of trees that you see in our urban core area and in our parks. Those are the same trees that you'll see out here in the open space. Trees are generally the major element that we use to define our habitats, our natural communities. They create the background for our life. We received a grant from CAL FIRE and it enabled us to do a citywide tree inventory. The project started with a group of experts going around and assessing the trees to view not just the species of the tree, but the health of the tree and the surroundings, all information that we needed, and that information was put in a database. We didn't know how many trees we have. We now have a handle on approximately how many trees. We know what species we have. We know where the location is, the condition, the size, the age. The tree inventory is really exciting data. It, it helps us manage our tree inventory in the city and manage resources to better serve the community. My job as field arborist is to maintain the approximately 16,000 trees that the city owns. This morning I looked at our uh, tree inventory um, and it told me that there is a hazardous tree at Red Deer Park. With the Juno unit, which has a locating unit where I hit the button, it will tell me where I am. I've been able to verify this is the tree. This is a very old blue oak under the city ordinance. It's a highly protected tree. Through the Juno unit, I can enter in that this will be fenced off. The liability issues will be addressed. And then that information will be added into the inventory and as well as the other work we are doing here today, pruning some trees. This tree inventory, across the board, it will generate more efficiency from every aspect of what we do. My job is to take the work orders from the guys in the field. So I will go in here and I will pull up the number of this tree and it'll pull up all the information on this tree, what kind it is, where it is, and then I will enter what they've done. And then that will update on our GIS system, which you can go in here and depending on the color of the dot, it will tell you the species of the tree, it will tell you the condition, it will tell you the height. I mean, this is great. I don't know how else you could keep track of something like this. We expect to use the information from the tree inventory for both our own purposes as well as for the work of the Open Space Foundation, who's responsible for doing the majority of the oak restoration work in the open space. This information will give us information across the entire width and breadth of the city, so we will be able to better establish patterns that a, a certain species of tree grows better on a south-facing slope versus a north-facing slope. How much water needs to be available? What kind of animals and other plants are attracted by the species that we have? And it will just help the planning for both ourselves and the Open Space Foundation as we move into the future. There are so many benefits that come from the tree inventory. Every year we go out and we inspect sidewalks. We know that trees have a direct impact on the sidewalks. And so we start with, we prioritize these areas and we start with those trees that are the city's responsibility. We'll go out and inspect those areas first. And we can do that systematically because we have the computer system there. We have a mapping system of all of our trees and we can plan all that work before we actually go out and do our inspections. It's saved a tremendous amount of time. Historically, we've had to go and look at that information in uh, on our mapping systems, uh, in files, and now it's all in one place and it's been very helpful. When it comes to scheduling a staff of two that really maintain these trees, we are able to concentrate in populated areas such as downtown, um, Civic Park, Larky Park, and be able to tackle these areas around the city and, and around our parks in a more practical approach. We were really planning a week or two out, and now we're able to plan out four or five years. And not only with the health of the trees, but also budget, which is ultimately allowing us to be more efficient with the dollars that we currently have. The technology has been a savior in this day and age. The city's commitment 
and the community's commitment and the active volunteers and the open spaces commitment as well as staff shows a long-term commitment to uh, the tree program in the city and the health of our local environments and how the trees reflect that health in both the water quality and the air quality and our quality of life. And as a citizen of Walnut Creek, it makes me very proud as well as a, a member of the staff.